Hi YouTube, uh, this video is a short video that I'm trying to make about the Mamiya 645, specifically the Mamiya 645 Pro TL. Um, I've seen a video regarding the Mamiya 645 1000J and I want to give you my perspective on the 645 system, specifically talking about the Mamiya Pro TL, which is the last of its series. Okay. So for those who doesn't know, Mamiya 645, it's uh, Mamiya's um, high-end 6x4.5 camera. Um, this last version, uh, it's an improvement over the Mamiya Super and Mamiya Pro in the sense they have a through the lens metering that only works, but only works with um, some METs. Um, flash guns so really you're not going to use that so what we have here um, it's uh, like all supers and uh, um, pro, TL, uh, pro and pro TL they, they share the same bags so they have removal bags if you have seen a, a Mamiya 1000S or a Mamiya Ye um, be mindful that these bags uh, it's not a magazine that we can take out same as uh, any, um, uh, you know, camera, they can be taken out very easy. And the thing is with this system, let me put this back on, is that it's a very versatile system. And the fact that the, they share the same bags as the Super and the Pro is an advantage. One thing is the prism finders, uh, this is the difference with the older style is that this is uh, this finder it's coupled which means that if you move the aperture and you move the shutter speed which is conveniently placed here instead of on the this side with the previous versions of it it will be adjusted up and down and it will give you an aperture reading so it's very accurate it has a spot an average spot and an automatic spot or average meter it has exposure compensation on top which means that um, you can give it plus three and minus three so that's very good if you if you like um, the EV so you can't control it this is also camera will also use all the lenses of the 645 line since they started that's something great if you have an older mummy you can buy the body and you'll be good to go this camera originally has a 60, 160, 60th of a second uh, maximum sync speed. So what that means is that a 160th of a second, that's uh, then you will not be able to expose the whole a flash using flash photography, um, uh, shooting, uh, uh, lighting the whole frame. That's when this came through. If you see, this lens have uh, notches and it has a shutter. This is a Mamiya 150 millimeter lens leaf shutter lens. And that means that there's a shutter right here, I think it is, that will fire, and this shutter will sync at speeds up to 100, one, one, one five hundredth of a second. Sorry about that, for one one thirtieth of a second. But you have to, if you if you get one of these, you have to make sure that you get a power drive version two, version one which means it has this cable here so you can shoot it and we use the shutter at the same time if not you will have to trip the shutter manually with a um, with a trigger which is not very um, useful uh, but still you can still use it even if you don't have this you can still use it as a regular lens uh, the only thing is that for this lens is that instead of being a 3.5 to a 3.8 like it's cousin that doesn't have a leaf shutter but that's how you uh, mimic the whole equivalency like a Bronica SQA uh, even though it's a 6x6 and a 6x5 something cool that I found is like um, this camera you can find this back which is kind of crazy believe it or not this is a 35 millimeter back and uh, it's not the most useful thing to have but it's kind of fun to have if you have like a lot I have a lot of older film around uh, 35 minutes I don't shoot that much 
and I like to have my uh, Mamiya, and if I'm just, you know, wasting shots, I do it uh, with the 135 instead of 120. Uh, like I said, uh, this is a camera system, and what that means is like, you can uh, remove, let me show you, sorry, remove the finder, remove the, um, the split screen and put whatever I have, I have two of them, you can put, you can make this camera as small as I'm going to make it, this is kind of uh, expensive, one of the most expensive I think items is this one, is the uh, waist level finder for this camera, and the way really to use it, it's like, uh, you disconnect this, let me show you how small this camera will be, you take out the finder, and the power cable, what they call it, and uh, you put this, right, so it's good, and then if you want to make it smaller even, you can take out the 150. And sorry, my hand, I'm kind of slow. My hand is killing me. So. And you have a very, very small camera. And I mean small as you can get. which is kind of cool because when you don't want to uh, and all the other things that would be cool about this camera is that you can put this knob in uh, like 10 positions to start you know. beautiful beautiful camera very easy to use very sharp 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 and very cheap the only thing that is kind of uh, expensive is the waist level finder so like I'd say um, I would highly recommend this camera to anybody. Beautiful camera, they're beautiful shape. Uh, I've been saying that, um, and it's shutter speeds from uh, from bulb to 1,000 of a second. I don't know if you can see it. But again, this camera does not sync at, at over 1 160th of a second without the leaf shutter. But these days, if you don't use flash, that's not a big deal. So. Um, this camera also have the uh, has another part for the uh, finder, but I don't have the screen because I really don't need it. So, but like I said, uh, if you want to get these, they're very cheap. Uh, make sure you get the or the yarn strap with it. And this is the shutter adapter, so you can use a regular a cable to trip this camera. The only caveat, like the other person said in the video, is that this camera uses um, a battery, which is four LR batteries. They're very common, so it's not a big deal. You can carry it out. You can get away. And they're very, very, very cheap, and they're very, very, very high quality cameras. If you can get the 81.9, um, it's a beautiful lens I've been trying to get. Uh, a reasonable price, but I can have it now. This is Mamiya 645, and uh, I'm gonna try to make a short video soon about my big boy. This is it's Lance, and whoever knows who it is, if this is a uh, 127, <laughs> it's as big as my Mamiya. This is an RB lens. I'm gonna check out some little video in the future. So, thank you. If you have a question, I'll try to help you out. Uh, I'm a Mamiya user, so I have a bunch of 645, 6x6 around my TLRs and. I'm on the RV, so if you need any help, let me know. Thank you.